see we got a uh, $5 super chat from in and out thank you thank you um, he asks is it true that an instantiated struct is not always allocated on the stack instead of the heap it's a very uh, you know I'm not really sure do you know do you know the answer to that Jason um I do admit general it. rule is is if it's if it's entirely made up out of um, value types mm -hmm. it will always be um, on the stack Unless there is either, for example, because you can technically make a struct which has a game object reference, which mm. would then, by nature of its design, have a reference in it that requires it being <laughs> allocated onto. Um, a much more practical answer to that question, though, that because that, I wouldn't worry too much. I would say the one thing to, to the, the thing that you're more in danger of is when you pass a struct around your application, you have a method where the method signature takes in an interfaced version or a base class version. So if it has, for example, object as its base class rather than the struct type itself, it will have to cast that and subsequently box that. And likewise with an interface. If you use an interface like um, like the one you should, for example, like comparable or um, the I equality operator stuff so that you can have correct struct uh, equality, which by the way, look into that. You really want correct struct equality when you're doing custom structs. Um, you, if you have a I comparable interface or something that you're using, it will have to cast to that, and that will cause your boxing, and that's where your allocation will change from stack to heap. So, I guess the tip there, if you want to avoid that problem, whenever you have a function call which takes in a version of a struct object, which can be cast to something, uh, make a second overload of that function which takes the explicit type as well. Okay, so you have a struct called dog. You might have an I animal method where it's like, you know, animal eat. If you just have an I animal function, it will always cast that struct dog into animal before it calls the function, and that will cause your uh, your allocation. If you have a function which takes in a dog, it will then not allocate, or because it will use the struct as is rather than casting hmm. first. Um, that gets into situations like you're losing. Um, you're losing your abstraction because you kind of have to. That's the whole point. The whole point of using your um, structs. You have the, the better memory management for that. But the trade-off, of course, is that you're going to have a harder time being um, kind of abstract and vague with your interfaces. So structs use explicit types. That's kind of the general rule. If you do that, you won't have to worry about it.